Chapter 2 Indices and Logarithms Let us discuss another important aspect called indices and logarithms. Indices and logarithms find applications in various aspects of our lives, ranging from simple financial operations to complex engineering or scientific usage. Prerequisites As prerequisites, you're expected to be familiar with basics of addition and subtraction, basics of multiplication and division, cross-multiplication, simplification. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, we would have learned the meaning of indices, laws of indices which facilitates their easy applications, fundamental knowledge of logarithm, Laws and Basics Applications of Logarithm Let us begin with indices. Consider a number which is multiplied by itself n times. n being a positive integer, the resulting expression is called nth power of the given number. If a is any number, multiply it with itself n times. This expression is written as a raised to n. Here, n is called the exponent or index and a is called the base. For example, multiply the number 3 with itself 5 times. This expression can be written as 3 raised to 5 where 3 is the base and 5 is the index or exponent. Laws of Indices when the exponent of a number is a negative integer, then the resulting term will be reciprocal of the given number raised to the absolute value of the given exponent. By absolute value, we mean the value of the integer without taking the sign into consideration. Consider any number a. Let m be any integer. Then a raised to minus m is equal to 1 by a raised to m. For example, 2 raised to minus 2 is equal to 1 by 2 raised to 2.